Let's look at the highlights then of round four of the Intelligent Money British GT Championship that began with Sean Bowell from pole position converting that into the race lead. James Cottingham tried to go around the outside of him on the run towards Redgate, but he found Sean Bowell's Lamborghini a bit wide and Bowell's elbows a bit pointy. It meant that the Mercedes had to slot back in behind. Coming out of the corner, there was Andrew Howard in the mix as well. But it wasn't long before the 97 Aston Martin looked for a way through, dived past Sean Baum heading into the S's. And then Andrew Howard started to make progress forward. The Lamborghini, though, would struggle over the course of the stint and drop away over the course of the first hour. The sister car was having its problems as well. First of all, Mark Sanson bounced off the Ginetta. And Freddie Tomlinson, that then was the GT4 leading car. Mark Sanson rejoined from the pits and got hit again, this time by Mark Radcliffe, and Radcliffe would get a penalty for that contact. The safety car had been deployed just before the pit window. Andrew Howard had a slow stop. It meant the Aston Martin lost 11 seconds and it came out fourth. And the safety car period was so long that it gave us really only 25 racing minutes before the chequered flag. Johnny Adam led him away and he would lead all the way to the end. Chased hard by Ewan Hankey with Jules Gounod hanging on to third. But in GT4, things were changing. Charles Clark went through on the inside of Tom Wrigley's similar McLaren to pick up the class lead and make it two endurance wins back to back for the Optimum Motorsport team. Last lap dramas though for Stuart Middleton with a suspension breakage putting him into the gravel just as the leaders arrived on the scene. Johnny Adam hanging on to victory. Second win of the year for Johnny Adam and James Cottingham. James's second British GT career win and win number 18 for Johnny Adam with Ewan Hankey and Lucky Carer coming home in second. Lucky Carer's best ever GT finish. Third to Ian Loggie and Jules Gounon. But well done to 2Cs Motorsport, to James Cottingham and Johnny Adam.